All right. We are looking at Linux Mint 13 Maya. And today I picked the MDE or Mate Edition, and we're looking at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, Linux Mint is the first distribution that I tried when I decided to switch to Linux last year and stick with it. And uh, this is Linux Mint 13. This uses, this particular flavor that I downloaded is the MDE version. The reason I'm looking at the MDE version and not the Cinnamon version is because I've already re reviewed Cinnamon. I think it's great. And uh, I wanted to see what progress the MDE or Mate, mate or Mate, hey, whatever they want to call it, the Mate desktop environment has made. And I'm telling you what, folks, this looks good. Now, I know a number of people have been complaining that the Mate desktop environment uh, has been kind of buggy since it forked. But I'm starting to see some pretty nice improvements. Now, uh, one thing I really like about it is is the fact that they've really done a nice job with uh, with improving its appearance. You can see we have some gradients and that sort of thing, including with it. The uh, text looks nice and crisp, and uh, I, 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 I like the overall display of the icons and everything. Um, and of course, this is great for all of you people who really loved GNOME 2 and really hated GNOME 3 when it came out. You know, the nice thing is you can right click on your uh, panel. You can add items to your panel. There are a number of widgets to choose from. And then of course, everybody knows about the wonderful Linux Mint menu. Uh, you did know about the Linux Mint menu, didn't you? Uh, well, if you didn't, I'll show it to you. The night, you know, this is a good contender to Cardapio. And the thing that I like about this is, you know, you can easily search for things. And you can see I've already done a search on this. I wanted to see if Compiz came pre-installed with this before I started recording. And um, it doesn't. But the thing is, you can get it from the repositories. But uh, one thing I really like about this is how everything is organized. Uh, all of your applications graphics, internet, office, sound and video, system tools, administration, and preferences. Just simply mouse over them and then you have a list of those items that you can get to. But the thing is, if you are looking for something in particular, uh, you can just uh, start typing it up and it'll appear in the listing. Very nice. And also, you can customize this by right-clicking on this and going into Preferences. You'll notice that it does not say Menu. It says Spatry on it. And that's simply just by changing uh, uh, the button text. You can also change the button icon to pretty much anything you want. And there are other options, themes, applications, favorites, places, and uh, system options that you can tweak with this. Linux Mint has always been doing a good job and making a good contribution to the community uh, with every release of their operating system and this is definitely no different. It's looking very good. I'm very pleased with how uh, the Make Desktop environment is working. Would I use this on Arch? Not really, because I'm really pleased with OpenBox that I'm using as a main desktop. It's lighter weight, and of course I have Compiz as a standalone window manager using a few little uh, toys from all, all the other distributions and that sort of thing. But this is a great distribution to use. If you're a beginner, you'll want a nice, simple user interface. And the nice thing about this is you can easily customize it. You know, this is you know even right-clicking on your desktop and select Change Desktop Background gives you gives you plenty of options. As you can see here, there are a number of wallpapers you can choose from. Uh, why don't we pick out this one? This looks kind of cool. All right, and then 
uh, from you can select theme. Currently, there's only two, but the thing is, you can customize this and make it yours. You can make it make it however you want it. You have a number of controls, so you can change the controls. Let's say I want to go with a bluer uh, theme on my controls. Now you can see that it has applied that, and it does that all in real time. Okay, you can even change the window borders to something if you wish to. And, uh, okay, so we gave that the Windows Millennium Edition look if we want. I mean, but, I mean, hey, the possibilities are endless. And you can go on Gnome Look to download more window borders if you want them. Okay, you have a number of icon sets to choose from, or you can download ones that you want. And then, of course, just uh, two sets of uh, pointers. But then again, you can go on GnomeLook.org download more point, pointers, and install them. You can follow my Pin Guy OS how-to series on my channel. I show you how to customize the GNOME 2 environment, and you should be able to apply those tutorials to the Mate desktop environment. All in all, I'm very pleased with what Linux Mint has done here. Uh, this is really great. I understand they are working with the developers of the Mate desktop environment. And I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing here. So all in all, very good. Yes, I will recommend this one for beginners. And uh, and what can I say? I think I'm going to slap this one on uh, one of the computers next door and uh, let uh, everybody have a little play with it. All right, well, that's all I've got on Mint 13. Wonderful job, folks. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.